Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I have my February favorites. Although it was a shorter month, I still have some favorites here that I want to share with you. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. All right, so to start us off, I have been using a new makeup tool and I'm pretty sure you may have seen it all over TikTok, maybe on shorts as well. I did do my own TikTok on it, but it is the makeup spatula from Picasso. Honestly, you can could just use a normal art spatula I think that will work just as fine as well but this is the one I have I got it off Olive Young which by the way I'm now affiliate with them so I do have an affiliate code which I will put right here for you and it's always in my description but yeah I got mine off Olive Young and I've been using this pretty much every time I put my makeup on I just feel like it does a really great job of just applying the most thinnest amount and I find that my skin doesn't look as cakey because even if you're using a sponge yes the sponge does absorb it but this is like putting such a thin layer on I will say though I don't feel like my application is as satisfying as others I feel like people get such a nice wide spread but my spread is a little bit shorter but regardless I feel like this is such a nice way to apply your makeup and of course you don't need this specific spatula but it's the one I use and I guess it was like designed for makeup you know but then moving along at the end of January I actually got my brows are tattooed on they don't look any different to you probably because one I still fill them in and two I still have my bangs so they don't really look too much different from far away but I feel like up close they somewhat look a little bit more natural and less filled in in a way so with that being said my next two products are brow products and these products I actually had in my collection for a long time I just like once I got my brows tattooed on, I wanted to draw on more hair-like strokes on my brows, which before I would really not do at all. So my first favorite is from NYX Cosmetics. It's their Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I got the shade Brunette, but I definitely need a darker shade. The Brunette is too light and too warm for my brows, but I still use it anyway because I just really, really love the extreme skinny and thin tip you can really get nice hair like strokes and I just apply that to the front of my brows use this for eyeliner as well you could use it for your fake beauty spots or freckles I think it's just like an all-purpose product it's from NYX it's affordable I just need a darker shade and then I also been loving the Kosas air brow brow gel I do have a few brow gels that I really really do love and this is just the one that I'm using right now and I feel like it does such a great job of lifting up my brow hair and giving my hair texture. I really like to focus this at the front of my brows as well because again, my hair there is very sparse. So with this brow pin, in the front and then this brow gel to really give texture to my actual brow here I feel like it gives a very fluffy -er look although I do feel like my brows still look drawn on but if you look up close you can really see the brow hairs and it's all thanks to these two products for some reason in January and February like this year I've been doing so many purple and blue looks and more cooler tone looks it's not for some reason I know the reason is just because the palettes I'm reviewing are definitely leaning more towards Towards that color palette but I feel like I've done just so many purple and blue looks this year so far and these eyeliners have been coming so handy I literally been using it at least two to three times a week because I've been filming that many blue purple looks and these eyeliners are from Kaleidos it's their epiphany mount on eyeliners they are their multi chrome eyeliners which I do have a whole review on I'll leave it in the cards if you guys want to check that out and when I did for First try it I gave it such a good review I really did like them but I wasn't sure like how much I would get my use out of them but I feel like these two shades here I have used so much for my blue and purple looks it gives such a high shine multi chrome flip some of them is just more duo chrome but regardless it is really really like reflective and metallic and it just pops against the eyeshadow so the shade I'm wearing right now for my purple look is called night of creation and then when I'm doing more blue looks, I'm wearing C Sparkle. And these two, the blue and purple, have been my go-to. The ones I've been using the most. Like, I literally, like, have been using this all the time. I think these are such a good investment. It's different from just a normal plain eyeliner because they are metallic and they have that duochrome multi-chrome flip. It just gives so much more dimension to your eyes and it literally makes your eyes 
sparkle and just on the lower lash line at the center it really does something else but the next favorite guys is a ColourPop favorite I feel like it's been a while since I've mentioned a ColourPop product in my monthly favorites I remember probably back in like maybe 2019 and before that every monthly favorite would have a ColourPop product but I really grow in my channel and tried more brands but I do have a ColourPop product to share with you and it is an eyeshadow palette. This one did launch a while ago but I just uploaded my review on it so if you want to check it out I'll leave it here but it is the Aurora Struck Mega Palette. This palette I already knew I was gonna like it as soon as I saw the photos I was like I'm gonna fall in love with this palette so much and you know with my looks that I did with this palette I was using the Kaleidos eyeliners a lot. This is just beautiful. I'm not actually wearing it on my eyes right now although it looks like I am because of the purples but I am not I'm wearing game beauty I'm doing a little post for them but anyway and I guess I don't want to rave about it too much just because I did just upload my review on it I raved about it so much in that video but I truly feel like this palette is giving me old school ColourPop it's bringing that ColourPop love back to me again the smaller pans the unique colors the amazing formula I just oh there is absolutely no complaints I have about this palette I would definitely recommend I know it's sold out right now but I mean you know sign up for the email reminder or something because I think this palette is so so beautiful if you need a cool tone palette this will cover everything in my review video I did comparisons to more of their 9 pen palettes and it covers a lot and I know I'm just gonna keep creating more looks with this and it's just it's just perfect and it matches my outfit today. But then let's move into skincare. If you guys saw my January favorites in the Pure Box unboxing section, um, one of my subscribers sent me some skincare from a brand that she works at and I started testing some of the products out and I have been loving them. I haven't been trying everything that she sent me yet just because I wanted to slowly introduce it into my skincare routine. But these two products I have been absolutely loving. So the brand brand is called Evidence Skincare and I've been using their Be Calm Hydrating Cream and then their Zinc Shade SPF 15 Broad Spectrum Moisturizer. I've been using these two together in the morning and my skin in the beginning of the month was really really bad. I was really stressed out at the end of January, early February, had a lot of small breakouts and I started implementing this into my routine and maybe it wasn't a good idea to start using new skincare when you're breaking out but this brand that my subscriber told me about she said that it's um, peer tested so they are trying these products on real people and getting real people feedback and honestly it could have been a lot of things that my skin cleared up you know just getting back onto routine being less stressed using this it could be really anything but regardless I do see such a big difference in my skin after putting these two into my routine I just feel like my skin looks so much more clear I'm not getting really much breakouts and just the overall appearance of my skin is just looking so much better and something about these products you know like again I'm not like a big skincare person where I can tell you what this ingredient does and all that you know I just try it if it works it works and these two together it totally works I just want to say a big thank you to my subscriber who works at Evidence Skincare for sending this to me and like introducing me to the brand because I absolutely love it so thank you so much um, and I really want to recommend it to you guys and this was just sent to me from her like she did not ask me to talk about it or anything I'm not paid to do so nothing like that just genuinely subscriber sent it introduced me I love it and I'm just sharing it with you guys so it's called evidence skincare I'll have them linked down below I believe they are based in Australia so it's made in Australia and then for the last favorite it is somewhat related to makeup it is a little makeup bag and this is from 3CE and this is cute little pouch I think it's just so cute initially I got it just to use as a little dumpling bag they have it in different shades as well I'm really considering I want to get more because 
it's from a makeup brand. You guys know 3CE. So this is actually a makeup bag, not really a going out bag, but I just thought it was so cute for a going out bag. That's why I got it in white. But I realized that this would be such a good makeup bag and I have put all of my daily makeup into this bag. I did a video where I talked about if I lost my entire makeup collection, which products I would buy first. All of those products that I would buy for my full face fits into this bag and it still has room, it can close up and I just feel like that would be so ideal for traveling because this pouch is not that big, you know what I mean? It's like really not that big and usually when I travel I take this big carry-on makeup case. I want to get the pink color for a makeup bag because I feel like it's a little dangerous putting makeup in a white bag unless I'm ready for it to get dirty. But nonetheless, like I just think it's such a cute makeup bag and you can use it as just a normal bag, you know, like I think it's so cute. I love little dumpling bags. But essentially guys, those were all of my favorites for February. I feel like I kind of breezed through everything. It was a shorter month, so you know, less products this month, but I honestly have been using all these products all month long. I've been really, really loving these. I do just want to quickly say before I let you guys go that I did end up closing my PO box. I did not renew it for another year. I can't believe I've already had it for like two years, and I'm really thankful for everyone that sent a letter, sent me products through my PR box. I really do appreciate it. Just feel like it was getting a bit expensive to have it open and I just decided to close it. Um, but if you did already like send me something, I do have like a two month period where if something does come for me, it will get redirected to just my personal address. So if you did send something, it's okay. Like I think I will still end up getting it two months later because I paid for an extra two month closing period, you could say. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, so yeah, my PR box is now closed. So please um, don't send anything from now. So yeah, that was a nice fun time though. I really did enjoy it. But thank you guys so much. It was just getting a little expensive for me. But yeah, with that being said guys, that was my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some new things you wanted to try. Let me know what you have been loving in February. I would love to know in the comments below. But with that being said, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.